we now talk about path length and displacement path length is a scalar it is total distance traveled whereas displacement is a vector so you measure displacement as initial position minus the final position so let us see this with the help of an example so we have a ball it starts at 0 goes to 4 and comes back to 0 so we will label 0 as origin O and 4 as point A so the ball basically is going from O to A and then back to O so displacement in this case is 0 because initial position and the final position of the ball are the same Whereas, the path length is 8. It goes from 0 to 4, 4 meters. Come back from 4 to 0, 4 meters. So, path length is 8. So, another example. Ball goes from 0 to 4 and then comes back to 2. So, we need to compute displacement and path length. Table the figure. We call origin as 0 point where the rest 4 is A and the final resting point at 2 is B. So displacement is just 2 meters because the final point is B. So you can either say OA vector plus AB vector. OA vector minus B A vector because AB vector is equal to minus B A vector and that's how you get 4 minus 2 is 2 meters. On the other hand the total path length is 6 meters. You have 4 plus 2 as 6. So another example, you now travel in the negative direction from 0 to minus 2. So 0 is the origin, the final point we call as C. So the displacement now is OC vector which is minus 2. So notice that displacement is a vector. So when you are saying OC vector, you are giving it a direction. The direction is the sign. So the direction is the sign and 2 is the magnitude. So 2 is the length of the vector. Now the total path length is just 2 meters because we traveled from O to C and that length is 2 meters. So again displacement is a vector. It has a direction which is either positive or negative and it has a magnitude which is the length of the vector so length of the final vector now we talk about position time graph so we will talk about stationary object so on the x-axis we have time and on the y-axis we have distance so this graph shows that as time is increasing the distance measured on the y-axis is remaining constant at 1. So this is a stationary object. So we will call distance as x in meters. And notice that this distance is always constant at 1 as time increases as we have just shown with the green line as the time was increasing the distance just remained constant at 1 so this is a graph of, of a stationary object now we talk about graph of a uniform motion so in the uniform motion as the time increases the distance also increases so notice that as the time is increasing time is 1 distance is 1 time is 2 distance is 2 time is 3 distance is 3 so time is increasing, the distance is also increasing. So 
So time is increasing here and the distance is here. Distance we denote by x and it is measured in meters and this is uniform motion. So as time is increasing, time t is increasing, then the distance x is also increasing. 